Hello my friends and welcome to episode 19 of Hugh Talk and this is part two of a trilogy of episodes here in Hugh Talk about the power of love and this is 19 episodes that I've recorded since the 17th of March and uh, this whole uh, show Hugh Talk is all about sending positive energy and encouragement and vibes out in your direction and so today um, I'm going to be talking about a, a couple of books that have really had a profound impact in my life, very positive books um, that I'm going to share with you now in a, in a few moments. And I'm also going to show you around my room here and show you the different perspectives that I have here uh, in my room while we're talking about the books. So here we go. So the first um, book I'm going to talk to you about today <clears throat> is called Tuesdays with Maury. And if you look at episode 14 of Hugh Talk, I, I do reference this book and, and talk about a particular story from it. Um, so I do give more information in episode 14 about this book. But just to tell you that uh, Mitch Alborn, the author, has sold over 39 million copies of his books around the world. Um, you may know him also for a book he wrote, which became a movie called The Five People You Meet in Heaven. Um, he's written a lot of inspirational, uh, fascinating books. It's a real life story of, uh, of the author, Mitch Alborn, and going to visit this man called Maury Schwartz, who is a professor, and uh, he was dying from ALS. And the book is basically their conversations they would have every Tuesday. How did this book influence me and why do I think you should read it? Well, in a nutshell, um, you know, my hashtag love is everything is my quote that's come from, from this book. Uh, and Maury is saying this as he's getting ready to pass away. He's, he's letting uh, Mitch know, um, you know, don't forget this, this is really important. And you know, when, when somebody is in that position going through that experience, saying something like that, it really gets you to stop and think about it. And I remember as a younger man, reading that and really having a profound impact on me. Now, The Four Agreements is by an author called Don Miguel Ruiz. And um, it's basically based on Toltec uh, wisdom. And the, this is a Toltec um, code of conduct. It's one of those books where you're reading it and you're just like, put it down, you're like, wow. And you go back and read it again. It's just like, there's some really, really profound things in there. Two things that really uh, have stayed with me from this book when I first read it. Um, the first was this whole idea, and I've mentioned this in a previous episode of what's called matote, or white noise, all this kind of noise coming in from uh, all around you that can be distracting, and it could be people telling you, don't do this, don't do that, and you know, it's, just, it's kind of like, you know, uh, bad influences that are coming in around you, creating bad energy around you. Um, that's something that kind of stays with me. But the other thing, which is profoundly impactful for me is, uh, I've been very sensitive uh, ever since I've been uh, a kid and I would often take things very personally when people would say things to me. Um, something I've been working on, doing much better with it now. Um, but this book was really kind of slapped me across the face with that whole business of taking things personally because it really says very directly when you take things personally, it's really, uh, it's very selfish. Because when you take things personally, essentially you're saying, well, it's all about me. You know, when so often when people do things, it has nothing to do with you at all. So the third and final book I wanted to talk about today, and there's so many books I could, I could tell you about, but these are just the three I'm, I'm going to mention today for you to check out. It's this book here. It's a book called Oneness. This book is very, very personal uh, book for me. Um, uh, one of my best friends in the whole world is a, a wonderful person called Sherry Scott, who lives in Sedona, Arizona. Giving you a big shout out there, Sherry. And this was a gift that Sherry gave to me on the very first day that we met. And uh, it's a great, it's a great story. I, I, it's one of those stories that really deserves <laughs> a, a, a long version, but I'm going to give you a very short version of here, but I think you, you'll find it fascinating. 
So I was on a, a little personal crusade to uh, Sedona. Somehow I felt that I was going to get um, answers to spiritual questions I had in my life if I went to Sedona and found a psychic. So I went into a tourist center there and I said, can you recommend to me who's the, who, like, who do you hear them talking about as a, as a top uh, person to go and talk to? And I said, I don't want someone with a crystal ball. I want somebody like who's the, the real deal. So he told me, he said, you've got to see this woman, Sherry Scott. And he starts telling me all these stories about how he had international visitors who'd come back to see her many times. So um, the next thing that happened was I, I go to where her office was and um, just through a, 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 just pure chance or, or coincidence, as some people might say, um, we just happened to meet. She could, if I had been there 10 minutes later, I would have missed her. Um, just happened to catch her. She was just finished um, uh, working and um, she allowed me to come into her office. We sat down, we started having a chat. Um, and she did a, a reading for me and then based on our conversation and just how we, we hit it off she said look this is a book I've got to give it to you she, so something like told her I need to give him this book and and I, you know I just met her and it was um, you know we've, we've stayed friends ever since been through through a lot of different times together um, a wonderful amazing person and her son Aaron is, is incredible as well uh, uh, we hit it off too as soon as we met I, I came up uh, as a Catholic in Ireland and my parents weren't particularly religious but uh, it was part of going to school. You were taught uh, Catholicism in, in primary school and we had to do our confirmation and all that kind of a thing. So when the, you read a book like this after coming up through that, um, this it just totally expands your mind. It's getting you to think about concepts so far from what you would have associated with religion uh, or spirituality before. So in some ways, you would consider this perhaps an advanced spiritual book, um, but it, it, that's all relative uh, to, to your individual journey, I think. But, but for me, this was definitely a very uh, advanced book uh, at that time, and uh, I just was, couldn't, couldn't get enough of it. And it's the kind of book you can open up at any time, just randomly like pick a page, and there'll be some uh, you know, gem of wisdom to come out of it. And it also introduced me to the whole concept of time being quite different than how, how I had been thinking about it before and it introduced the concept the idea of time uh, running with past present and future running at the same time it's mind-blowing you just stop and think about that for a second and the and the implications of that so years later there are concepts that this book has introduced to me that I'm still like uh, absorbing and and mulling over and, and uh, thinking about and um, and different experiences that I have in life then resonate with the with some of the lessons and, and concepts that are in here this book really overall gives you a perspective not just on yourself but gives you perspective on the whole journey of life and why we're here and I think that these are all the reasons why I love this book and it's had such a profound impact on me so with each of these books, um, you know, there's different things I remember about them that stay with me. Um, with Tuesdays with Maury, you know, I, I, I'm using that, you know, expression, you know, loves everything. It stays with me uh, all the time. And, and I think about that book and the experience and the lesson that I learned from reading it and the reminder I got. Uh, from it and then of course with the four agreements you know anytime when things are getting confusing and you're, and you're like what is going on and you just remind yourself that it's metote this white noise that's going on and, and and you know it helps you get more clarity about that and also in terms of taking things more personally and not trying to do that anymore um, you know it's again another great reminder and lesson I learned from that book and then with oneness it was again another uh, moment on my spiritual journey another fantastic learning moment and a great friendship that started uh, from that and so the uh, each of these books have had a profound impact on me in my life and stay with me and are with me all the time and um, I'm hoping by you checking them out as well you may find uh, you have your own experience with them um, and I'd love to hear about books that you've uh, read that have had um, an impact on you and let's, let's share with one another so I'm going to leave you to it and um, we got part three of The Power of Love coming up soon I have absolutely nothing but love for you all and sending that out to you now. Boom!